Yo, 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 my game musicians out there, this is Yim Nashi Zobo, Do Sharp for Short, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Last time on Pokemon Fire Red, we gloriously defeated Misty, and earned the Cascade Badge, and we beat our rival again for the third time. And in this episode, we are going to be crossing Nugget Bridge and facing some trainers along the way. Here we are. Here's the first one. People call this Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? Well, considering that it's Nugget Bridge, I'm guessing that the prize is actually going to be a Nugget. I guess we'll find out. Hi, Kale, and you have a very boring Pokemon. What a shame. What a what a bad way to start out for you. Good way to start out for me, but what a bad way to start out for you. And a another bad start. Come on. Have <laughs> better Pokemon on your person, please. So far, the critic is not amused. Oh yeah, Metapod. I let me guess the next one's gonna be Kakuna. You see a pattern here? I might as well have seen a pattern. Let's just see if I'm right. Yep, I'm right. Well, your Kakuna goes all the way to Kahuna. Get out of here. <laughs> and KO has been defeated. Woo! Good stuff. Well, it was a bad start for you, but I guess I'll take your... I'll take your modesty. And yeah, when, when you talk to these guys after you defeat them, they just say something like that they express no regrets. So, yeah, I did my best. I have no regrets. Yeah, all these turns say that after you defeat them. I'm second. No, I'm serious. Oh, how serious are you? If you have good enough Pokemon, then I believe that you are serious. No, you're not serious, Pidgey. Okay. Yawn. Come on, show us a better Pokemon. This is the Pokemon turn. Yeah, Oddish is okay. Although, I don't think Erica would allow you in her gym, so. I'm afraid you missed that. Missed that opportunity. And we are level 24. Hooray. And Bellsprout. Well, Bellsprout's okay. Even though I don't think the Sprout Towers. I'm gonna shut up. Okay. Now that we have that all the way, Ali has been defeated. Or Ali. How could I lose? And you express no regrets either? Yep. I think I'll just call her Ali. <laughs> Ali sounds a little bit a little bit funnier. Here's number three. I won't be easier. You won't be easier, huh? Well we'll just see about that, short sky. Timmy. Tiny Timmy. With her sand true of Dullness. I don't know. You sure seem dull to me. I would really like to see a Sand Slash next time. And Ekans, come back when you have a Charbok! Charbok! Okay. I don't think I can really do a, an Arbok voice, a perfect Arbok voice that well. I can only do it with my simple monotone. Well, I could try, even though I don't think I'm gonna. And Timmy has been defeated. God blesses everyone. Ow, stomp flat. That was not what I was expecting. I was expecting God blesses everyone. I did my best. I'm number four getting tired. No, I'm not. I'm just getting warmed up here. The other three turns were very disappointing. Hopefully, really. Oh, no, Romeo. Okay. It's okay, but I was half expecting Nidal Reno there. Sorry. You know, Nidal Reno doesn't really evolve at this point, so that can be that can be respectable, I guess. Okay. Uh, I won't take that though. And now we're in female. Yeah, I don't think this evolves into Nidal Arena. Right now, so let's just finish it off. It's so cute, but uh, it's not cute when he uses double kick. 
If you're using double kick, then you're spunky. That I'll take. But you're so cute, you go down. And Rilly has been defeated. Rilly on Relish. I lost two. Okay, back to the Pokemon Center we go. And we're back for number five. Are you any better? Okay, I'm number five. I'll stomp you. Do you have a Tauros then? If you have a, if you have a Tauros, then I do know what you mean by literally stomp. Oh, no, you have a Mankey. Mankey doesn't stomp shit, so... I could have done a mirror match, but no, I won't. Okay. That was very upsetting. I was half a th Yeah. Whoa, too much. Yeah. I kind of missed my water bottle. I did my best. And... Oh, are you a Pokemon guy? Congratulations, you beat our five contest trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. <gasps> what? But wait, there's more! By the way, how would you like to join Team Rock? See, why'd I tell ya? We're a group of pro professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. Wanna join? Are you sure? No. Come on, join us. No. I'm telling you to join over my dead body. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. I'll make you an offer. Okay, I'll shut up. Okay. Yeah, Ekans and the typical bunch. I'm guessing. Well, it was interesting while it lasted. And no, no, not the poison sting. No, I just got healed up. Ah, lucky for me though, I have antidote, so that that's not not a problem. So. Okay, level 25. That's very appropriate, and Zubat is definitely not appropriate. Zubat and Ekans, what will come next? A Rattata? Well, concerned that these are the only Pokemon that you have on your belt right now. Wow, this point. Arrgh, you're good! Yeah, leave it to me, the good old trainer. With your ability, you've become a top leader in Team Rocket. Oh, really? My Pokemon aren't at the right levels yet, though. Come on, think of the opportunity. Don't let this chance go to waste. Do you see anything else? And no. Well, now that that's out of the way, let's use an antidote. Alright. And we have another train over here. I saw your feet from the... Why did you miss about feet? Or wait a minute, maybe it was actually the right contest. Maybe he did actually watch my feet on the bridge from the grass. So there we go. Yeah, that was actually a really hidden clever pun there, Nintendo. Thank you very much for including it. But your retire goes down nonetheless. I wish Game Freak would have programmed this better, but they didn't. Except I do like the graphics though, and I do like the Gen 3 renditions of the music. I love the Gen 3 music with a passion. And Shane has been defeated. I thought not. Okay. I hid because the people on the bridge threatened me. Well, they didn't really show any any strength there, so there was really no reason for you to be all cowardly and all that. Any, anyway, we are on Route 25. More trainers. It gets a lot worse when Gen 2 and Gen 4. I just got down from that moon, but I've still got gas in the tank. What does it even mean? I mean, does that mean... <laughs> does that mean you have enough farts? Or, like... Do you have enough... Do you have enough stamina? Or do you actually drive a car in this game? I'm guessing on stamina, but... Flashlance always goes well too, so... Ah, uh, Geodude. Too bad you go down like the rest of them. Well, very close, but no cigar. No cigarillo. There we go. 
Hooray! Franklin has been defeated. You worked hard. Do you still have that stamina, though? Drat! A Zubat bit me back in that cave. Yeah, Mount Moon is filled with them. Yeah, I highly advise you to kind of be on your own discretion there. Local trainers came here to practice. Oh, do they really? Well, I'm gonna break their practices then. I am going to humiliate them good. No, that's not me. No, I'm a good sportsman. I mean, I can actually, I can actually give them a good, good fight. Oh, yeah, the thing about me, guys. Just to let you know, I am a good sportsman. I just, I, I do kind of get cocky though when I'm battling trainers. So, so I'm sorry if I um proved to be kind of a poor example. I don't know. You're decent. Well, thank you very much, Joey. Keep training hard. All Pokemon have weaknesses, even the strongest ones. That's why it's best to raise Pokemon of different types. Yep. That's the thing about being a trainer. Trainer's life for me. You're going to see Bill? First, we battle. How do you even know Bill? I mean, has he actually invited you to a tea party yet, as of late, or what? Oh, that's... I can do that. I'll bite. Be a lot better if I saw Steelettes, though, but, I mean, uh, Honest is good, too. Hehehe. <laughs> and Wayne has been defeated. You're something. Sweet. The trail below is a shortcut to Cerulean City. Oh, d don't, don't! Ah, Dad took me to Great Party on the SSN at Vermilion City. For a minute there, I thought that Vermillion was not spelled correctly, but actually I think it is. And Slowpoke. And I think I'll just use a Scratch. And I think I'll just weigh it out. I'll bide my time doing this. And this is getting a little bit old here. Just keep scratching away and get that critical. Thank you very much, Prometheus. I'm proud of you, buddy. And Dan has been defeated. I'm not mad. I'm glad. No, I'm actually a tad mad and glad at the same time. On the SSN, I saw trainers from around the world. And... Peekaboo! Hi, my boyfriend is cool. Yes. Because I'm your boyfriend. I actually played Peekaboo with you. I tapped you on the shoulder and I just basically made out with you. And... To quote Falco, is that the best you can do? And no, I'm not going to quit with the Star Fox references, so you can shut up about that. And though no one exactly comments on these videos anyway. Hooray! Kelsey was defeated. My conditioning isn't the best. Okay. Point taken. I wish my boyfriend was as good as you. Oh, I'm not your boyfriend. Aww. I'm off to see a Pokemaniacs coll collection at the Cape. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's that good. Hopefully it's quite a presentation. Another Geodude, huh? You just like to use a Geodude, eh, a hiker? The hikers really love their Geodudes, I can tell you that. Whoa, ah, oh, really? Just a spurt of health left. Just a little smidgen. Very, very sad. Said that I had to use a not so very effective move this time. Knob. Who would name their kid Knob, Roy? I wouldn't actually name my kid Noob. Because he'd be quite a noob. I don't know. <laughs> no critical hit there. Not too shabby. Wait, what's next? Another Geodude. Just have not a very good variety, huh? And what's with my grammar today? Ugh. Me no speak English, no, I'm just kidding. I do speak perfect English, but sometimes it can be quite broken. For some odd reason. Sometimes when I'm recording a video game, sometimes it's just a little bit harder for me to breathe. It just... I just... I don't seem to have that much elbow room to breathe, and so I just kind of scramble my wording here and there. 
That happens to the best of people, though. Scary face, no thanks. Actually, it may be a little bit... No, it's not even better. It's not even worth it. Get out of here, noob. You done got me, and real good, too. See, I don't talk like that. I don't talk like you done got me. I said, you did get me. That's that's how to actually properly phrase it. Whoa, whoa, hello, line of sight. Oh. I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. Oh, was she back there, your girlfriend? Well, I actually raped her. And when I mean rape, I mean that in a different contest than the... than the usual contest of rape. So, I didn't exactly do that. But I humiliated her good. But it was a good fight, nonetheless. See how good sportsman I am? I'm a pretty good sport. I like to balance things out. Just like an orchestra. I mean, an orchestra needs to balance its sound out. In order, to, in order for it to create a... Aw, oh, darn. Create a fresh... Brilliant sound. Oh well, my girlfriend will cheer me up. And secret power. How elegant. How elegant for me. <laughs> I don't know if I can call it elegant enough, but hey, I had this feeling. I knew I'd uh, I had a bow, yeah, huh? Ugh, can't talk. I'm actually kind of excited that I just can't talk. And here are seconds. Let the bow begin. This battle is just getting started right now. And yeah, I'm almost out of power points for this, but... I keep pushing on here. How long is this? Hello, Sanshu. For the sake of time, I'm gonna speed this up. Oh, well, okay. There was no need to speed it up then. I knew I'd lose two. Because I'm so good. If your Pokemon gets confused, switch it out. That's a good tactic. And another trainer! God. Is this the last one? Hopefully. My friend has many cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. This one I might have to speed up because yeah, I am kind of running high on time right now. Well, hello, Oddish. Wasn't really surprised to see you considering that you're on a Lassus person. So, I'll just burn the crisp out of you. I'll just do my Scorched Earth policy. That's what I'll do. You have a Pidgey, huh, Haley? Okay. It goes down. <laughs> See, the Scorched Earth policy always works. It always works, especially... Especially in Pokemon. You just have to use it. Have to use it whenever necessary. Hooray! I'm not so jealous. Okay. I'm kind of jealous of you because you had different Pokemon. You came from Mount Moon? May I have a Clefairy? I was trying to catch a Clefairy, but I kind of failed at doing that. And here, what looks to be Bill's Sea Cottage. Bill lives here! Exclamation. What's over here? Uh, where is Bill? Uh. Are you by chance, Bill? I mean, you, you look like a Clefairy. Hiya! I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue maniac. Bill! Is it really you? I don't believe it! No, yeah, I'm gonna stop. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here. Okay. Wait till I get inside the teleporter. When I do, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. Okay, I'll check the G diffuser any way I can. Whoa! That looks a lot like a trading machine. It's like a link cable, except it's... it teleport. I don't know how it actually teleports you. I mean, it just basically switches bodies. That's what it is. It's Freaky Friday. Yeehaw! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. So, did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I've got to thank you, though. Oh, here, maybe this will do. I knew you would do that. Thank you very much for the SSM. 
My cruise ship SSN is in Vermilion City. I hear there are lots of trainers on board too. From various places they invite me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dudes. Guess what? Me neither. Why don't you go instead of me? Go on and have a good time. Thank you very much, friend. And yeah. Same old dialogue. Oh, cool. And are you a trainer? Cool, this escape is a famous date spot. Let's see, the gym leader has high hopes about this place. Yeah, I, I actually stalked her in Gen 2. Hello, are you here alone? If you're out of Cerulean's cape, well, it should be as a couple. Yep. I imagine they have beautiful sunsets here at night. I guess that's why it's a good gathering for dates to go to. Yeah, oh, whoa. The long and winded road here. There we are. We're back to Cerulean City, and let us go back to the Pokemon Center and try not to waste time. And I think that does it. I mean, we accomplished some here. We actually obtained the SS ticket from Bill. So I'll actually record that in my recap for the next episode. And so... I think we'll leave it there. Next time on Pokemon Fire Red Version, we go south to Vermilion City. See you guys next time.